Rivals.com's Josh Helmholt. We're out here in Dallas at the Rivals Camp Series presented by Under Armour with one of the top linebackers actually in the country, Rivals 100, Baron Browning. You've uh, had some fireworks here in your recruitment recently, I think, and uh, made the commitment to Baylor last summer, decided to step away from it. Talk about that process and that, that decision. Well, I, feel, I, I still feel the same about Baylor. I still got like a lot of love for him, but... You know, I just really wanted to take my time on recruitment. I feel like I just rushed it. And, you know, my, my parents thought the same thing. So we just got together and, you know, just thought it was best for me to just uh, take my time and, you know, decommit from Baylor and just really just wait my options going into my senior year. And like like you mentioned, you still have a lot of feeling for uh, Baylor, still like them. Uh, w- you know, as you go forward, what aspects of that program are going to be playing in Baylor's favor? What interests you? What intrigues you? What do you like about the Baylor Bears? I think the thing that I'm impressed with the most is Coach Kyle's, you know, just his knowledge and stuff and, like, this type of person he is, you know, a motivator. I mean, and majority of the time, uh, I'm going to be uh, with the strength coach and uh, my position coach the majority of the time. So, And I got a good relationship with Coach Gush, but Coach Kyle's is he kind of like just icing on the cake. Now, since you made the decommitment from Baylor, I would guess a lot of teams probably look at TCU maybe being that team. I believe your father played there, and you just made a recent visit to the uh, up to TCU as well. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. What did you see up there? What was that experience like? I'm sure you've been there before, but was there anything unique about this recent trip? Oh, when I go up there, you know, it's just practically like another home. I mean, you know, I'm welcome up there all the time. You know, they tell me to come up any time I can, so... And it's not too far from where I stay, so. Texas, I believe you also made a recent visit, too. How did it go down there in Austin? Oh, it went down. It went real good. You know, my parents got a, uh, both of my parents actually got a chance to sit down and talk to Coach Trump. So they was real impressed on what he had to say. So, and they was impressed with the academic advisors and the learning specialists and how they had it set up. So. So there's been some turnover on Coach Strong's staff here recently. Were there any relationships you were able to build, new relationships, or do you have get kind of a, a pitcher from Stro- Coach Strong on the future of that Texas program? Uh, yes, sir. What did he have to say along those lines? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, you know, looking at the future of the program, oh, okay. the changes that they've made? Just saying, like, how they're going to just – the plan is just to keep building and building. You know, they he's starting to get the guys that he want in. So in the next two or three years, they're going to be ready to make a run, he said. He tell. Well, that's what he said. So, so – Stepped away from the Baylor commitment. Is there a team now that is kind of that team to beat in your mind? Uh, I really, I don't have a leader, so. And who's maybe a team that people aren't talking enough about that is legitimate? That is definitely a school that uh, is going to contend for you. Um, uh, I say Ohio State. Ohio State. Any, have you been out there Ohio State before? Have any plans to get up there? Well, I have some plans. I don't. I, I haven't. I, well, I haven't been out there yet, but I'm making plans to try to get out there pretty soon. And then, last question there: What is it about Ohio State that you like? Uh, I say Coach Shooker. You know, type of coach and type of person he is, and how they have it set up for like, you know, you know, even the football don't work out. How he was just telling me how he had his uh, Joshua Perry had like like uh, four job offers already with like six figure salaries and stuff like that so how they just basically just the connections and networking how they have it set up for their players he's rivals 100 linebacker baron browning out here at the rivals camp series presented by under armor